Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Skip, Try, or Buy. So today I have for review the Cabador Behind the Door Cabinet. Now before I get into the review, I just want to say if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way as I put out new reviews and new content, you'll be notified. So let's get into the review. So I was looking for a cabinet to organize all of my makeup. At the time, my makeup was all over the counter in my bathroom and it was a disaster. I tried putting it in drawers, but then it just became a drunk drawer. Now my everyday makeup, I don't have a lot of, but that fun makeup, going out, just wanna play, maybe take a picture, um, makeup, that kinda got out of hand. So I needed a better way to store it so that I could easily find what I needed. So that's where the Cabador cabinet came in. Now it's different than the on the wall cabinets. I didn't have enough space for on the wall. And it's also different from those cabinets that hang over the door. This cabinet is a behind the door cabinet and it actually hangs on the hinges of the door. And so what's neat about that is you can open and close it so that when it's closed, nobody actually knows what's in your cabinet. And honestly, you probably wouldn't even notice it if it was on the back of the door, provided it's the same color as your door. So it's a very customizable organizer, as you can see. You can pick where you want the shelves to go at what height. So if you know you have taller things, you can add those. Um, or if you have shorter things, you can put more. I think it comes with about eight, six to eight shelves. The bottom one is fixed, however, but all the other ones are customizable. The way it attaches to the door, like I said, is the hinges, but it also closes and fastens to the door with an extremely strong magnet. Now I will go ahead and just advise that if you're gonna use the magnet properly, that you're gonna wanna go ahead and actually screw it in. It comes with um, adhesive strips as well as screws. Go ahead and use that, those screws. That magnet is super strong. It's gonna be too strong for that adhesive tape, so you'll wanna make sure you use the screws. So I kinda wanted to customize mine a little bit more than just the shelves. So I decided to also add some funky wallpaper behind it. So you'll see it's actually some sticky contact paper that I purchased, and all I did was put it on the back before I put my shelves in, just to give it a little, you know, extra pizzazz other than just having a white back wall. So the next thing I wanted to do is I didn't want just to have the makeup just laying there. I wanted to organize it better than that. So what I did is I went and purchased trays from Amazon. So this is just a standard 12 inch tray. It's an acrylic tray from Amazon. And I'll link all this information down at the bottom if you're interested. But you can see here, I'm able to put whatever type of makeup in here that I want to. I've got palettes, I've got powder, I've got sprays, I've even got a brush. Now, honestly, my makeup brushes, I do still keep on the counter because I have a nice little container for those, but I no longer keep my makeup on the counter. It's amazing the space that I have now. And really, this is all about how you want to do it. So uh, you can make, put whatever you want in here. I'm going to show you some other containers and organizers that I use <laughs> to give you an idea of other things you can do in there. So one of the other organizers that I have that I think is neat is this one. So this is, uh, it is my eyeliner slash lip liner organizer. So you can see I've got my MAC red and I got my NYX black and all this stuff. Um, even my e.l.f. that y'all heard me talk about in one of my videos, I have that in here too. You know, I love that clear lip liner. Anyway, so I have just a nice little place to keep all my different colors. Now you can't fit chunky pencils, so I just want to let you know, I did try to do the chunky pencils and this is a little bit too small. The holes are too small for it, but it fits. Um, you can see the pencils just fine. So another thing that I have is this, and this is just it's a square, I think it's a three by three container for you to put whatever you want in. I personally use this to handle my uh, lipsticks. So you can see I've got my lipsticks in here. Um, the neat thing about this is this, which is three inches along with the 12 inch one. Let me show you. This actually together will make a complete row in your uh, Cabador cabinet. So you could have a 12 inch and a three inch, fill it with whatever you want. And then that way, um, you don't have to worry about just laying your products down in the bottom of the shelf. And here I'll show you what this looks like up close. Again, it's just a three by three. And I just, for right now, I just have a lipstick in here. And so the final thing I wanna show you 
um, is I actually have one more container. And again, these are just acrylic containers I got from Amazon. But this one actually holds nail polish. So I like this because before this, my nail polish again was in a drawer. I'm wearing the same colors all the time because I did not remember buying this one and I couldn't see it because there was so much junk in the drawer. So now I have all my nail polishes out on display. It'll fit your um, round OPI, your squares, just all your different size nail polishes can, can fit in here. So now comes the time when I tell you whether I think you should skip, try, or buy. Obviously, I think this is a buy. This cabinet is great. Let me tell you one of the things I do to make sure I keep my counters clean in my bathroom. I actually use one of these 12 inch acrylic um, containers and I leave it on my counter with nothing in it. In the morning before I go to work or wherever I'm going, I go and I go shopping in my cabinet and fill it with the things that I want to use for that day. So if I put my foundation in here, primer, blush, whatever I need for that day. After I use all the makeup and do whatever I'm going to do with it that day, I take this back over to my cabinet and put all the makeup back where it came from. This keeps me super organized. I no longer have makeup sitting around on my counter, just this clear bin with nothing in it until I need it. So I hope you found this review helpful. And if you did, please be sure to subscribe. So that way, anytime I put out a new review, you'll be notified. Also, have you purchased the Cabador cabinet? And if so, let me know what you use it for. I know when I was looking at reviews before I purchased it, I couldn't find anybody who was using it. Um, for makeup or using these little containers in here. So I'm interested to see if you have one and what you do with it. Thanks for watching. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was. Ah, I hate this. Ah, I hate this.